Cam 2 measure 10 supports many alignment options. One of these is a weighted alignment. This allows the user to select geometry to create the alignment and then choose to lock each feature relative to the X, Y and Z axis to control the 6 degrees of freedom. In this example, we shall use a method that is commonly used in several industries, including automotive. The component shown uses two circles and a slot when assembled. First we need to select the alignment features using Pick from CAD. Using the automatic option, we can click on the edges of the holes and slots to create the features. Once these are created, we need to measure the actual features on the component and link them to the CAD features. To do this, from the CAD view options bar, select Measure All. And now measure the features as prompted, including the projection planes for each. From the Alignments tab, select Iterative from the ribbon. Now from the Feature panel, highlight the circles and slot. Now click Add Selection to bring them into the Alignment Manager. If we now select Apply Solve, the alignment will be calculated. However, if we look at the results of each of the alignment features, we can see that all three have errors, meaning this is a best fit alignment. In this case, we need circle 1 to be our primary alignment feature, meaning it is logged in X, Y and Z. The secondary alignment feature is the slot. We only want to allow error in the slot length direction, i.e. the X direction. And the tertiary feature is circle 2, which is only logged in the Z direction, allowing error in the X and Y. We can therefore edit the alignment to wait or lock the features in this way. From the Alignments tab, select Manage. Now select Advanced Options and check the Set Weights box. A table of cells is now shown next to the alignment features, showing columns for the X, Y and Z weights. As the alignment is currently a best fit, all features are locked or weighted in X, Y and Z. To set the weights, simply click into the cells and enter 1 to weight or 0 to turn weight off. Circle 1 is our primary, therefore we enter 1 in the X, Y and Z cells. Slot 1 is our secondary, so we enter 0 in the X cell and 1 in the Y and Z cells. This allows the alignment error to move in the X direction only and locks the Y and Z positions. And finally circle 2 is our tertiary, so we only log this in one direction, which in this case is Z. So we enter 0 into the X and Y cells, and 1 into the Z cell. We can now update the alignment error by selecting Apply, Solve again. This will significantly reduce the alignment error to virtually 0. If we now check our feature results, we can now see that the alignment represents the assembled conditional alignment. In this example, we have used the minimum three features, however it is possible to use more. That concludes this video, thanks for watching.